Welcome to Crushing Eggs Connectors 101 Metro Pack training class or how to video series that we are going to cover. Today, the focus is going to be on overview of the Metro Pack series and Metro Pack 150 series. Uh, a lot of people get overwhelmed when they think about Metro Pack, they don't know too much about it. Uh, hopefully, by the time we get done with all these, you'll feel comfortable in what we're doing. Delphi was previously uh, on their own, and then Apti bought them not too long ago. The biggest things that you need to know regarding MetroPak, there are two series that we're going to cover. MetroPak is a very expansive product line. So we're going to break this down into just two connector series. And we're going to talk about the connector, the sealed connectors, and we're going to talk about the unsealed connectors. Uh, the unsealed connectors we'll do at a far later date. The sealed connectors, which are the most common that you'll find in exterior situations, agriculture, engine compartments, that kind of thing. They're more of a waterproof connection than the unsealed, of course. Um, don't get too overwhelmed when you're trying to figure all this out. It can be very much so. Uh, I know it was for me when I was first starting to learn it all. But to break it down to make it simple, a 150 series connector has a 1.5 millimeter blade. 280 series has a 2.8 millimeter blade and so on. So the regular sealed connectors are going to require generally four components to make a complete connection. And the pull to seat connectors that we'll cover later only require two pieces. And it's just the terminal and the connector body. Whereas the regular sealed ones are going to require a body, a contact, a seal, and a lock. So again, don't be overwhelmed with MetroPack. We're going to try to break this down. And as always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. So, breaking down the series, the ones we're going to talk about, the sealed MetroPack 150, the MetroPack 150.2, the pull to seat series, MetroPack 280, MetroPack 480, and MetroPack 630 series. And then 630 series also comes in a pull to seat version. Well. Metro Pack 150. As you can see, you've got a plug and a receptacle side. Uh, shown here are, is the 10 position connector. These are the Metro Pack 150.2 series. You stick the wire up through, crimp the terminal, and pull it back in, and you pull to seat the terminal. Uh, you also find these very commonly connected to sensors. Sensors on combines, sensors on tractors, sensors in cars, automobiles, trucks, you name it. Uh, you see here I've got a cherry sensor also on the screen that uh, commonly used with fertilizer spreaders. MetroPak 280 series, uh, it's a uh, another power, uh, higher power version than the 150 series, but it's not going to go up into your big, uh, you, you don't want to run a high amp load on these. 480 series is a, is a more of a power type connector and uh, good with a 14 gauge or 12 gauge wire. And the 630 series, uh, commonly used with high power circuits and also available as the pull to seat series, which you can put an inline fuse or you can just make a, a two way, two circuit connection. So today we're going to put all of our focus onto the 150 series. We're going to start there and hopefully it's not going to be too much to digest. The 150 series is available in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10 circuit configuration. Each connection is going to require four parts to complete the connection. It's going to have some version of a connector body, a wire seal, a terminal, and a TPA or terminal position assurance connector. You can also get a what they call a CPA, a connector position assurance. Uh, additionally, if you want, it helps keep the connectors locked. The female connection requires four parts. The female connector body is a plug, as shown here in the, on the image. And then you're gonna have a terminal or a contact and it's always gonna take a socket. There's four different wire or cable seals that are used. Uh, we stock a lot of the dark red and the white. That covers just about everything you're gonna use within a 150. 
but there's also a blue one for a really small wire and a TN one. Uh, and again, the TPA lock for the 150 series, there's no gender assignment for these. If you get a 10-way lock, it's good for the 10-way female and the 10-way male. The male connection requires four parts as well. You have a receptacle, which always is going to require a pin. This is known as the male side. Uh, again, the same wire seals available, the dark red or the white. Typically, it's the red. That's what we put in all of our kits unless they did otherwise. And same thing with the TPA lock. It's gender, not gender specific. Uh, specifications, this probably looks a little heavy, but I thought I'd throw it up there for you. The biggest thing to, to keep your mind on is the amp rateage. They're a max amp of a 14 amp. And again, at the bottom there, blade width is a 1.5 millimeter. And where these are used at, they're most commonly used with automobiles. They're used with agriculture and farm equipment, uh, ISO bus situations, CAN bus communication, uh, anything with low power. Uh, like I said, it's only got a 14 amp max rating and uh, good for signal communication, uh, low power CAN signal, CAN power, that kind of stuff. Uh, when you're ordering them, just make sure, you're, again, you get the four pieces. You want to get the body, the terminal, the cable seal, and the TPA lock. And additionally, the CPA if you're interested to help keep the connectors together. And if you get overwhelmed and you're not sure which, which terminal, which connector, whatever you're working with, you're not seri sure what series that is, just measure that blade. It's 1.5 millimeter, you know that it's a 150 series. Prussian Ag offers these individually and by the piece, the terminal, the seal, the connectors. Uh, we also offer them as a kit, gender specific. So we have female kits that have the plug, the seal, sockets, and the TPA. And we've also got male kits that are the receptacle, the seal, the pins, and the TPA. Everything you need in one kit to make a field repair or just make a connection. Uh, if you want to make a full connection, we have an uh, offering called PRK kits. These are plug receptacle kits. Uh, they combine everything you need for the male and female connection complete. All the seals, all the plugs, all the sockets, and then the both TPAs. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little pack. And then we also have those as a multi-pack PRK, so you can get a, this uh, five pack and a lot of these features. Hope that wasn't too much. Uh, didn't wanna, I don't wanna overwhelm you. But that is a good overview of the 150 series. Be sure to shoot us an email to info at crushinag.com. If you have any questions, that's what we're here for. As always, uh, hopefully that you learned something here. Be sure to find us on Instagram or TikTok, YouTube or Facebook. And leave us a like, leave us a share, uh, subscribe, uh, or even a comment if you have a question. And again, you can always email us directly to info at crushinag.com. We'll be happy to help you out. We appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.